sure y'all follow us at 18djsworldwide.com. We working, y'all watch. Stop watching and start working, you feel me? What up, family? Motherfuckers need to know what they signing up for. If you want to sign up to be a rapper in 2021, you know, if you want to sign up to get the bag, stay in the clubs, you feel me? Stay getting your money. Even if you got, you know, inspirations to pack out arenas and just be a worldwide star. It's like you got a target on you. You feel what I'm saying? The shit that you was doing before you got in the game, it seemed to come back and hunt you. Even the shit that you doing while you in the game can come back and hunt you. Now, we all know a lot of hip-hop artists is losing their life. You feel what I'm saying? Just rapping. And it used to be rapping was a way out the hood. Now it seems that rapping is your way back into the hood. You feel me? It's kind of hard for them to leave the hood once they start rapping. They like to stay in the hood and different shit like that, which is cool. You're networking with your fans. You're networking with your people. But you also is putting yourself at risk if you got some type of fan base and people looking up to you. Now, my guy Chucky trill it's out of houston man and you know it's all-star weekend out there in atlanta it's a lot of artists out there and he was shot up and killed fam you know we don't know they ain't saying no pacifics on what was the reason or nothing like that he was on the north side of atlanta you feel me and Chuck Trill done had his, you know, troubles with the law. He done an eight-year bid, so I know he done laid back and, you know, thought of what he going to do now and come back out and got his career back on the road and popping. He got ties with Lil' Kiki, you know, Bomb B and all of them. Texas love him. But he went out there to Houston, All-Star Weekend, and this what happened. You know, he lost his life. You feel me? On the interstate, a motherfucker shot him up and killed him. Don't know exactly what type of beef he had out there in Atlanta. A lot of these rappers be in and out of Atlanta. A lot of them got plugs in Atlanta and different shit like that just out there networking. But it's sad, you know, to see that a Houston rapper, you know, and in Houston rappers, usually the history with Houston rappers, they was about their money, man. You know, you wouldn't hear about a Houston rapper or nothing like that, you know, getting killed and shit like that. They about tipping on fold, riding clean and shit like that. But now the new wave of, you know, Houston rappers, you know, they getting with the wave of what the world got popping, you know. It ain't about the screwed up shit no more. You feel what I'm saying? So they go out of town, they be having a whole lot of more beats than the old heads that was rapping, you know, out there in Texas and shit, putting it down for them back in the days. Now this shit is some gang banging music, hip hop label shit. I keep telling these niggas, if you're trying to be a rapper, you're trying to sign up to be an artist, you might as well sign up to be in the game because you gotta have people around you because you a target. A lot of them don't recognize they a target until the fucking last minute, fam, and they be dead or in jail for a fucking long time. Now he was out there just networking, you know. They ain't giving the Pacific on exactly what happened, you feel me? Did he get in tour with anybody? Was it any type of uh, beef that he had? And you know, his social media, he talking shit on social media like all other rappers. And a lot of people, you know, that makes them mad, especially, you know what I'm saying? If they just don't like you, fam, you know what I'm saying? Like. They might have knew you coming up in Houston, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker might have followed them out to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just crazy, you know what I'm saying? How shit go down like that. I feel like the rapper should be more protected. They don't want security around them, but you've been blessed to be in a position, fam. You know what I'm saying? You famous. You need security around you. You know what I'm saying? Or else shit like this can happen. And once you gone, it's gone. You know what I'm saying? You gone, fam. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no more seeing your kids. Ain't no more seeing your mama. Ain't no more seeing your family. It ain't worth the sacrifice of your life, fam. You know what I'm saying? With this rap image. You know what I'm saying? You get a chance. You get a deal. You get a independent goddamn me uh, deal or whatever it is, man. Take care of yourself. You feel what I'm saying? Put some bodyguards around you. Motherfuckers that gonna watch out for you and live life and be happy. You dig? But hey, look, I'm out.